Okay, now let's start the second part of our today presentation. It is a several function monitoring in uh, neonative intensive care units. And I uh, back to Tatiana, uh, who, is, uh, who will describe us uh, the uh, theory of uh, this uh, technique or in intended use of this technique. Please, Tatiana. So now is part of our webinar is dedicated for amplitude integrated EEG or cerebral function monitoring. Uh, but I'd, I'd like to start with the idea that the long term monitoring or video, video, continuous video monitoring is now a golden standard for diagnosing the uh, epilepsy seizures and to assessment function, functional activity of the brain. But sometimes the application of long-term monitoring is limited, especially, is, especially if they are talking about intensive care units. So in intensive care unit, they have no time to perform a long-term monitoring. They have no time to uh, interpret this, uh, uh, this uh, result. They need to know about brain function right now at this moment. So, and sometimes we don't have the specialist who can interpret this EEG because it's a rather complicated. So in this case, then the application of the long-term monitoring is limited. We can use alternative method is the monitoring of amplitude integrated EEG. So uh, amplitude, uh, I, I'd like to say that amplitude integrated EEG is um, uh, based on EEG recording, but during uh, this test we analyzed uh, amplitude integrated trends. Uh, so continuous amplitude integrated EEG it now is uh, um, is used in intensive care unit to evaluate the uh, brain function of patients of different ages at risk of brain damage. Amplitude integrated test, amplitude integrated EEG monitoring is a screening method to for seizures detections. Uh, then these trends, amplitude integrated trends, are a different type of amplitude integrated trends, and the types of these trends are described in spe special atlases and so in different tips. So uh, the specialist uh, analyze these amplitude integrated trends and he, he can compare these, the patient trends with uh, these specific trends from the, uh, from the atlas or from our tips. We have special tips for amplitude integrated EEG monitoring, uh, which is delivered with, with our system. So, um, and um, that's very important that after them analyzing amplitude integrated trend, their specialist can select their treatment to perform this treatment to uh, to get some medicine, and he can um, assess the uh, efficacy of this treatment. Um, um, it's uh, in majority cases, then um, amplitude integrated monitoring. Uh, for amplitude integrated monitoring, we can use uh, several channels. It could be one channels monitoring or two channels monitoring. And of course, it's very easy, it's very fast to put on the patient several electrodes. And um, and now we are uh, very different montage and uh, for one channel recording, I uh, recommend it to use uh, C3, C4 or P3, P4 duration uh, with uh, reference at FZ point. And of course we ground electron. And for two channel recording, we recommend it uh, use um, C3, C4, P3, P4 channels, and of course our system can create the uh, duration C3, P3, C4, P4, so we can get more information about brain functions. Uh, so uh, sometimes uh, so there is the tendency that the, some specialists um, are used for, uh, for amplitude integrated monitoring cap. So we put on the patient all electrodes which we, uh, which we fix during the long term monitoring. So it, it is, would be a multi channel recording. Uh, during the test, we specialists can um, analyze amplitude integrated trends. 
and to select some treatment and assess the efficacy of the treatment. And but then the, um, this study um, is finished. We can transfer this uh, uh, study from the um, computer to computer there uh, of the physiologist who can interpret this test as um, he do it during the uh, continuous uh, EEG monitoring video. Like how he, they how he do it uh, during the long term monitoring. So of course in this case we get uh, a lot of information about the uh, brain functions. Uh, so um, different um, uh, different electrodes can be used uh, in uh, uh, can get different electrodes can be used uh, for. Um, Amplitude integrated monitoring. It could be uh, needle electrodes or um, carp electrodes or the um, hydrogel electrodes. And um, sometimes, as I said, we can recommend it to use the uh, EEG cap. Uh, so very important, um, uh, they are very good to prepare the skin under the electrodes and we recommend to uh, prepare skin with, with the clean skin with uh, a um, saline solution. After that, um, it's, it's important to prepare skin with the abrasive paste and after moving the abrasive paste, we can uh, put the electrode in the patient. If you use, of course, hydrogel electrode or if you use um, uh, carp electrodes. And um, no, I think that uh, Alexei is going to show the electrodes and our strips, which is, can be used for identification uh, when uh, electrode points on the patient head. So, Alexei? Uh, thank you, Tatiana. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to remind you that in delivery set we have uh, like this instruction uh, where you can find information about all electrodes, electrode types which you can use for several function monitoring. Also here you can find information about uh, two uh, typical, uh, typical montages here and on the other side uh, you can find information about all uh, amplitude integrated EEG patterns according to international atlases of AEG. And also we have several uh, examples of uh, paroxysmal activity uh, view on AEG patterns. It is a very useful uh, paper for first time uh, when you're starting to use uh, several function monitoring. Uh, as for electrodes, as Tatiana already said, we can use uh, subdermal needle uh, single use electrodes. Uh, we can use uh, multiple use uh, cap electrodes, uh, or we can use uh, hydrogel uh, single-use electrodes like this. Uh, now I'll show you how we need to put uh, EEG electrodes on the patient according to all recommendations. Uh, in delivery set we have the special single-use uh, strips or uh, ruler. Uh, which we can use to uh, very easy to put electrodes. We have two types of uh, rulers, the small one and the big one. The small one we should use uh, for the patients uh, with weight uh, less than one and a half kilo, and the big one with uh, the patient uh, which weight is more than one and a half kilo. I will use uh, the small one today. And to put all these uh, three electrodes on the patient head, I need to find the CZ point on the head. Uh, to find it, I need to measure uh, the uh, distance between ezion and nazion points. And in, in the middle of this point, uh, it will be the CZ. Also, it will be in the middle between ear on this line. I can mark it with uh, the special marker. This is the CZ. But actually, this point is not very uh, necessary for us because with help of this tool, we can easily find um, C3 and P3 points. For example, uh, with this uh, uh, eagle tagus uh, part, we need to put it near the ear tagus. And from the other uh, side, we need to put it on CZ point. And moving this strip up and down, 
we need to find the position when the digit on the ear tragus is the same as the digit on the CZ. For me, for this patient, it is number three. It is three here and three here. And when we find this position, we need, we can check, uh, we can set here C3 point, and here on this special blue marker, we can find P3 point, which is interesting for us to put the electrode. So we can put it here, and also we can measure it, uh, we can use this uh, strip to find the PZ electrode like this, and the same operations for right uh, side of the, of the head. So using this uh, strip, we can easily put electrodes, and we can use, uh, like here, only three electrodes. In this case, it will be ground, uh, reference, and active electrode. This is a one-channel system, but we recommend to use additional uh, ground electrode, which you can put on any uh, part of the body, even on the head also here. And you, with help of this electrode, we can record uh, even three channels. Uh, this monopolar channel, this FZ will be a reference, uh, active electrode, active electrode. So we can record uh, one monopolar derivation, two monopolar derivation, and third a bipolar derivation. So with, with additional ground electrode, we can record up to three uh, EEG derivations. It is much more uh, helpful, helpful for the doctor. Uh, then we have the special patient unit uh, with marking uh, uh, from both sides. It is marked uh, the typical uh, montages for cerebral function monitoring. For example, uh, today we will work with uh, CFM1, uh, where we need to put two active electrodes, one reference electrode and one ground electrode, according to uh, our instruction. And another side of this patient unit is connected to the device. Where is the device? A device is located in this mobile trolley. A device is located uh, inside this mobile trolley here. And this system uh, is uh, very convenient and comfortable to use uh, in intensive care units. Uh, first of all, it is adjustable by height. You can set up height as you wish. Uh, it has a touch screen display. For example, you can easily manage uh, the software using only fingers like this. You can select episodes, you can move uh, traces and so on. You can start recording, start impedance and so on. Uh, also, it has uh, wheels with brakes for secure placing. Now it's not moving. Each wheel have the brakes. Uh, also, this system has the video camera. Uh, the video allows the doctor to check if it was really uh, paroxysmal activity of the brain or it was, for example, some artifact uh, for example, feeding, manipulation with the baby, and so on. Uh, with help of the video, we can uh, easily understand uh, <coughs> if it is a, a paroxysmal activity or if it is just some artifact. Uh, now I'll show you uh, how to work with the software to uh, record and analyze uh, cerebral function monitoring. Uh, here we can see an example. Uh, in the bottom part, we can see native EEG traces. Here is two derivations recorded for this baby. And here we have two amplitude integrated EEG trends on the top side. And this is the density array spectrum where we can see the frequency of the signal. Uh, this is also can be very helpful, for example, for quick navigation uh, for example, here we can see some high amplitude of uh, all uh, frequencies, 
but if we check here the native traces, uh, we can uh, see that this is just uh, an artifact with uh, P4 because on P3 it's quite a clear and good signal. Maybe electrode was moved or maybe its uh, impedance is not good uh, here. Uh, so what can we do with the amplitude integrated EEG trends? For example, uh, here you can see the result of uh, automatic interpretation, which the software can do. But uh, also you can make a manual interpretation. For example, uh, you can use these buttons uh, to select a uh, pattern of amplitude integrated EEG, for example, continuous normal voltage, uh, continuous low voltage, uh, continuous, uh, discontinuous voltage, and so on. The uh, selected uh, pattern is marked here with the spe specified color, or you can mark it directly on the uh, on the trend uh, with the specified color like this. And it is very easy to understand which pattern you can see on the screen. And with one a view on the screen, you can understand uh, the brain status of the patient. Uh, you can understand the uh, dynamic of uh, treatment, for example, or, and so on. I will switch to automatic interpretation. Uh, also, uh, here we can uh, see the window with uh, event markers. For example, here we can set some comment, for example, I can put some manipulation. And I will understand that uh, this activity is according not to uh, clinical status or brain activity, but just uh, to manipulation with the baby. Uh, or for example, I can mark uh, hypothermia. It is the treatment. Uh, this marker has um, not only uh, the start position, but also the duration, uh, about one hour, according to uh, standards of hypothermia treatment. So putting this marker, I can uh, mark the whole uh, hour, and you can easily see it here on the uh, trends. And by the way, you can move trends with the finger or with the left mouse button. Uh, here also you can see some high amplitude activity on the trends and we can move here and also see that P4 is uh, P4 signal is not very good here maybe electrode is not connected at all because P3 is has uh, quite good quality uh, that is one of uh, the reason uh, which uh, tell us that we need to use more than one channel uh, in, in case of one electrode is uh, disposed or broken, we will have uh, signals to, uh, by another durations. Uh, using a uh, toolbar, it is very uh, small toolbar here, we can move to next page or we can move to next hour like this. Uh, we can print uh, native traces or we can create a report. It's an empty report template. I need to select a report template several function monitoring and it will include uh, my a AEG trends, uh, density spectral array and some results of analysis. Here it is, our report generated automatically but also here we can add some typical phrases from our glossary window or we can add some traces, uh, even with video, we can put screenshots uh, to their report. Uh, so I think uh, that is all we wanted to show about several function monitoring. Uh, 